This is the free motion quilting tutorial for whirlpools. This is a foundational design. So this is design is going to start out with a foundational line and that is a line with circles and then you're going to go inside the circle with a closed spiral and that is a spiral that you fill the entire circle with and then travel your way back out. This is going to create some thread build up and extra dimension to these areas so that way they stand out a little bit better. You're going to stitch very carefully. You see how slowly I'm stitching out of my spiral. You're going to connect back with the outside of that circle and then continue your slightly wiggly wavy line. And you can take this anywhere. I'm filling just a four inch block with this design, but you could easily fill an entire quilt with this. Keep that in mind. So really the rest of the design is created by stitching this foundational line of circles and spirals connected with a wiggly line. And then we're going to move on to the second half of the design, and that is uh, using the foundation that you've created with this line and circles to fill the rest of your quilting space. So let's start seeing how some of that works now. So when you finish completely filling your quilting space, just kind of reaching every area with this wiggly line and an occasional circle with a spiral inside of it, then you're going to go in and you're going to echo this foundational line. You're just simply stitching a set distance away from that original line. Whenever you reach one of the circles, just simply pivot and kind of work around it. It is meant to change the texture of the design, so that's a good thing. It helps to make the design change and kind of flow around those circles which are your whirlpools and it gives it the really gorgeous texture that you see. Once you finish filling one side uh, of the line then you just simply travel and do the opposite side. Again travel stitching and echoing a set distance away and my distance in this video is about an eighth of an inch but you could easily expand this to be a lot wider over the surface of any quilt. And here's what it looks like when you finish whirlpools. For over 200 videos on free motion quilting, check out daystyledesigns.com.